first station, Jesus is condemned to die. This station is related to the teaching care for God's creation, because Jesus accepted the punishment and placed his life in God's life, just as we have to protect our Creator and live our life in relationship with God. It's related with the teaching because we have to respect and care for God's creation. By recycling, we help saving the world and our future generations. If we care more and don't pollute the world, we will be living our life in relationship with God's creation. We have a responsibility toward the poor, towards the future generations, and towards humanity as a whole. And one way of helping is recycling. Education is related to the teaching rights and responsibilities. Because even though the right of life wasn't imposed with Jesus, he had the responsibility to die for our sins, so he carried the cross because that was his duty. It's related to rights and responsibilities because there's a lot of people that need food, place to live, and education. And when paying your taxes, that is your responsibility, you'll be helping this cause. By the responsibility of some people, the rights of others are being fulfilled. So if human rights are protected and responsibilities, in this case taxes, are met, this teaching will be made. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. This station is related with the teaching dignity of work and right of workers. We have to respect our work and know that we have the work of some, something good. Jesus worked hard, even falls, but it was for a good reason, and he respect that. The picture of the fireman tools is related to this teaching because a place when someone works have to provide the worker with any type of tools and protection for their job. Every worker has to protect, to be protected and their basic rights must be respected just as everybody respects the job of a fireman. The fourth station, Jesus met his mother. Related with call of family, community and participation, Mary knows that his son will die unfairly, but because she loves his son that much, she left him knowing that he will be part of other beautiful community by the side of God. This picture is related because this station states that how we organize our society affects human dignity and the capacity of individuals to grow in community. By voting, people have the choice of, to vote for the leader that they think will be good for their community. This station also say that people have a right and a duty to participate in society, and by voting, people are also participating in society and making changes in the community. The fifth station of the cross. Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. The principle of option for the poor and vulnerable is related to the station of the cross because Simon feels grief towards Jesus while Jesus struggles to carry the cross up the mountain. He helps the vulnerable Jesus by carrying the cross for him so Jesus can rest. The pictures relate to the principle because the principle talks about helping the homeless and the people in need out. Book donations or toy drives collection, etc. can help the poor and vulnerable. Just get back to the community and help the people in need because they need your help. It's the face of Jesus. The principle of solidarity is related to the station of the cross because Ber Veronica is not related to Jesus, but she feels the need to help Jesus in his journey by wiping his face and cleaning him because of all the pain he has suffered already, and she's trying to make him new and free him from the pain by cleaning him up. The picture relates to the principle because solidarity means that we are one human family, whatever our national, racial, ethnic, economic, and ideological differences are. We are brothers and sisters where we may be in the world. Loving our neighbor has global dimensions in a shrinking world. This picture represents our group and our different nationalities, and we treat each other like family even though we are all different in our own ways. Seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. The principle of life and dignity of the human person relates to the station of the cross because as Jesus is getting help from Simon and Veronica, Jesus falls down on his knees with exhaustion. His life is slowly being taken away from him and his dignity is gone and he is exhausted and can't go any further. He is getting mal maltreated and tortured to keep walking and he is losing faith and hope for his survival. The photo of our 
abortion is related to the principle of life and dignity of the human person. Because abortion is a murder of a living person who is waiting to be given the wonderful gift of life. You're taking away a life of someone who hasn't even started their own lives. The church believes that every person is precious, that people are more important than things, and that the measure of every institution is whether it threatens or enhances the life and dignity of the human person. Station, Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. The principle of option for the poor and vulnerable is related to the station of the cross because the woman of Jerusalem and her children come out to comfort him and thank him for all the sacrifices that he has done. They have to come to help him get through his struggle and support him. They care for the vulnerable Jesus and they were here to support him. The picture, the picture is related to the principle of the option for the poor and the vulnerable because there are people all over the world who are in poverty. This picture shows that they don't have water to clean their dishes and to drink water, etc. We should start caring for the poor and vulnerable and help out the people in need. Let's save our family across the world by helping them one at a time. The ninth station of the cross, Jesus falls for a third time. The principle is option for the poor and vulnerable. This last fall is devastating and Jesus can barely get back up and carry all the weight on his shoulders. This teaching is option for the poor and vulnerable because Jesus is at one of his lowest points and most vulnerable right here. This flower is at its most vulnerable point right now because it is about to die of dryness and aridness from the environment around it. This relates to the teaching of vulnerability. The Tenth Station, Jesus is Stripped The teaching of the Tenth Station is life and dignity of the human person. Jesus is being stripped from his clothes and going to be crucified on the cross. Jesus is completely stripped of any pride. He is defenseless and about to be killed at the cross. The church, the church tells us that all life is special and precious. We believe every person is precious and no one deserves death. The picture shows people protesting the death penalty. This relates to the teaching because we, the Catholic Church, hold all life as precious and killing is not the answer. Number 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Life and dignity of a human person. When Jesus was nailed to the cross, he had his dignity taken away. He was nailed to the cro he was nailed to a cross for the whole town to see, with nails to his hands and his feet suspended on the cross. Human trafficking is still a big problem today, with many people being shuffled around for use as property. This is the ultimate termination of human dignity because no human should be treated as property. In human trafficking, people are treated as low as dirt, and most of the time it is sadly kids from poverty. No matter where somebody comes from in life, nobody should be treated as property. Number 12. Jesus dies on the cross. Call it to family, community, and participation. When Jesus was nailed to the cross and the community watched, they knew he was wrongfully done. The community also knew that they should try their best to protect him because he was still human and no different than anyone else. Here we have Fernando wearing a shirt that he took on Antioch. Antioch at our school is a call to community and participation. It tr because it teaches us that no, that no person is more of a person than another person. It creates bonds between groups and the people learn to respect each other. Number 13. Jesus is taken from the cross. Rights and Responsibilities when Jesus was being taken down from the cross and his hand there with all the different people and their lives that he has affected, Jesus had the right to life no more than any other person, and his right was taken away from him when he died that day on the cross. He taught us that death is a mystery and that people have the right to life, and anybody can die, even God's son. Here we have the Pope embracing a man with a non-infectious genetic condition. The Pope, without hesitation, embraced this man, not even thinking about his appearance. The Pope shows here that every person has a right to life, and that all because a person may look different, that they should not be treated any different than one of us. Number 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Care for God's creation. When Jesus was taken to his grave as a creation of God, just like one of us, he was not any different, just that he made the ultimate sacrifice for us. We should care for him just like how we care for our brothers and sisters, because he is a product to God's creation. 
Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice for us, just like many of our service men and women do. He should be praised for the ultimate sacrifice that he made. All people are a creation and product to God's work, and every person has a duty to protect people and the planet, living out faith and relation with all God's creation.